Hey there, welcome to Storytime with Stacy. I'm Stacy, and I have a question for you. Have you ever been on your computer and you've been online and maybe somebody has written something or said something to you that doesn't make you feel real good? I've had it happen and it makes me kind of sad. I don't know if it makes you sad, but I got I keep looking down because I got the book we're going to be reading here today. And it's called Adventures of Super Alert Dog. Now look at those nice illustrations. And this talks just about that and how what you can do for people that might be mean to you when you're online. So if you want to go ahead and get settled, we'll get started. So are you ready? Yeah, me too. Let's start. Gail Morin, The Adventures of Super Alert Dog. Polly sits at her computer night and day. Her friends come ask her to go out and play. Little Polly says, not today. She has been online in chat groups trying to make new friends. She has been lonely and looking for a special buddy. Little Polly went in different chat groups talking to people her own age. Then she received an instant message from this little girl, May, who lives far away. Polly and May would talk all day and always had so much to say. They exchanged messages about their families. May talked about her dog, Spot, which she decided to take pictures of and send to Polly. They would exchange messages until dinner time. Each day, Polly was so excited to have made a friend, even though it's a far, far away friend from a far away land. Since May lived out of the country in Canada, they would exchange information about one another's country. One can say May and Polly were the best pen pals on their computers. And they are distant from each other in a far away land. Despite the distance, they continue to chat. about their favorite hats and Polly's cat. But Polly sat for hours. Polly's mom and dad called her to dinner. May's parents called her to dinner. Then after dinner, they were both chatting away again. She was so excited to have made a new friend online, so they continued to talk all day and all night. The girls kept chatting, but one day this friend caused much fright. Then one day, out of the blue, May did something that was not cool. You are so ugly, ah ha 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 ha. You sure? She said some mean things to Polly. Then May started to hurt Polly's feelings. When Polly was on the computer, the super alert dog magically popped through the computer. S 
cyberbullying. Polly told the super alert dog that May said some mean words that were bad. And May made Polly feel sad. The super alert dog explained to May that cyberbullying happens when people say mean things online. Sorry, Polly. I went too far with my joke. I'm sorry that hurt your feelings. And it is bullying. And being mean is not the way to be. Super Alert Dog told May that she should love one another despite the differences that they may have from one another. Super Alert Dog! We all should be nice and not mean to others. May did not know this was called cyberbullying. But being mean online and in person is the same. It hurts someone's feelings just the same. May did not know being mean online was called cyberbullying. She did not realize her words were hurting Polly's feelings. And that made Polly cry and feel sad. Anytime there is cyberbullying or any action that is not nice, Super Alert Dog pops in magically. So they are back as friends. Now they chat all the time. Every day now, May knows what cyberbullying is. Super Alert Dog saved the day. Now off to his next adventure. The end. You know what I really like about this story? Is that Super Alert Dog came in and he saved the day. He made, he made it known that it's not okay to be mean to people. And he also let the girls know that, you know, they can talk, speak up for themselves. And if you are the one doing the bullying, that you should say you're sorry and know that it's not okay. Now, if you would like a copy of this book, I got a link below in the description. You can go ahead and grab your very own copy. And I got information about Gail. That's the name of the author. Her name's right up there. Gail Morin. If you'd like to learn a little more about her, too, okay? And now, for the activity. I'm so excited for it. It's so cute. Look at that. It's a cute little superhero dog. And you can grab a copy of this in the description below, too, and you can color it. Now, I would love to see how these turn out, okay? So make sure you tag me on social media if you decide to do this. Well, on that note, I want to thank you so much for being here. And I just love how our community is continuing to grow. And there's more and more of you reading along with me. Oh, it just makes it so much fun. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet or this is your first time here, welcome. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when my next story time is going to be, okay? And don't forget to like this video if you really enjoyed it, because I know I did. All right, on that note, I'm going to let you go, and I look forward to reading with you again soon. Bye!